I'm going to show you how to wig out. This is my little wig. This is your little lifesaver. You pop and go. Pop and go. Oh, I bet you didn't even know I had a wig on. Whoops, wait a minute. Okay, it's all synthetic. It's only two and a half ounces in weight. You wash it with cool water baby shampoo. Do not put it near any heat. No hot rollers, no curling iron, um, no type of heat whatsoever. You can go outside. You know, sun heat's okay. I'm going to show you how to put it on. And again, it's all synthetic. It will always keep that style as long as you don't get it near any heat. And make sure you use cool water and mild shampoo, like a baby shampoo or wool light. You can also use a little bit of conditioner. Before you put it on, this is the front right there. There's like a little tab right there. Put your thumb right there, shake it real good, and the style is right there. You're done, okay? This is the back. Little Velcro straps right here. You can make it bigger or smaller, okay? Put each thumb on each Velcro adjuster. Go over your forehead. That's really important. Over the forehead, why? So you can stretch it. Do not be afraid to pull it. Stretch it one size fit all, as you can see. Let it go. Take just a little piece right here, because you don't want to mess up the style. See, the style's already in there because you shook it. Take a little piece of hair, bring that up to the hairline. See how the style's pretty much there already? Okay, so just remember, take a little tiny piece. Bring that straight up to the hairline right there. Gently just take little pieces. Watch where it falls. There's little tabs right here little tiny tabs right there you'll feel it. it comes to like a little point you can either keep it forward or you can tuck it behind the ear making sure these tabs are right about here that's how you know you have it on real straight once you get it on if you did not get a real good stretch you can also grab a piece of the back like that a piece of this and just stretch it it's best to use a pick only on it because when you use a pick you're going to lightly go through and you're going to see where it wants to fall. You can also use your fingers if you have long nails. It's just like a pick. 